Well, hi there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran, and I want to apologize right from the jump. I'm in a pretty dang bad mood today, and I hope I don't take it out on the game that we're going to be checking out, which is currently uh, on Kickstarter. Yeah, I do believe. It's the Requiem, Downfall of Magic. So this is a spinoff, I believe, of a, another very massively popular game from Ludus Magnus Studios. They routinely come out and put up massive Kickstarters. 18 centimeters. So what am I seeing? 18 centimeters. I convert that to inches as well. Uh, let me do some quick math for you. 2.54 centimeters is one inch. So that is roughly a six inch tall mini. Wow. It's way more impressive when you tell it to me. Speak to me in American. And I think there's other two, two other countries that do that. Um, other than that, we got minis. We got a pretty generic looking box. We got words I can't read. Free expansion included. Let's build it together. Well, that's exciting. So there's going to be some engagement in here. It's going to be a living, breathing project. Also, I don't have my iPad with me. Ahoy there, Ricardo. So I will be go checking back and forth through the chat here. But uh, once again, really bad mood right now. I just got some really news that just ticks me off just like four minutes ago. So we're going to see. I'm going to try and not take it out. Uh, so player like time count and age would be great here. A co-op dark fantasy adventure said Nova, Addis, and Black Wars Rose Universe. Lead four heroes over the Empire. Halt the spreading darkness. I'm assuming this means it's one to four players. If only there were a way you could tell me that. He said sarcastically. Uh, I also do like the main image because it conveys a very large box. So I can expect this is going to have a stupid price. And it's going to have a stupid shipping price. Which is good to know. You don't want to come in there and be like, wow, why is the shipping so expensive? I already have a grasp of roughly what size this box is. Which is a good thing, as always, to mention. As always with the video, though, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Well, I'm at 135%. Let's go. Four minutes. Jiminy Christmas. That's long. Hey, it's you. It's the Black Rose Lodge has been destroyed, and now magic is out of control. The Order cannot tolerate this blasphemy. Uh, theme. Cardinal Vincenzo has sent you after Cosma. Who okay, at least, at least with the theme, they're also showcasing minis to me. So it's not just straight theme. I'm seeing the intricately designed miniatures, and if I painted, I'm sure it'd be like, oh, cool, I can paint one eye red and one eye green, and blah, blah, blah. Is trying to revive his mentor, Those Rebecca. Are really nice looking minis obviously those are 3d renderings but i'm pretty sure that's one of their calling cards is really nice looking minis so i think spotlighting just the intricate details of the minis here is nice God. such an abomination cannot be allowed thus he called upon an old friend in this fight against magic Oh my gosh, four different characters fighting monsters? Wow, what an original game, said no one. Like, come on, can we get to it? Get to it? Requiem, Downfall of Magic is cooperative name. Ooh, I like that little thing there where they, they kind of showcase the... Requiem. Right there, you can kind of get the gist that it's like one of those boxes where you scratch it. It's going to scooch. So I think they're trying to showcase the high quality of the box, which is impressive. It's always a good thing to do, especially considering this is all 3D rendered, I do believe. Downfall of Magic is cooperative narrative campaign for one to four players. Narrative. Okay, was that in the original thing? No, it's a good word to use, though. The characters are each unique and deeply developed, and their distinct traits change the approach of the game. Okay. Cards. Text on it. Agnes excels in battle. Valeria was the master. Is this actually a special ability or is this just theme? Okay, that's just theme. Got it. Of equipment. Beatrice supports the party with her skills. And Melchior leads his beasts in combat and exploration. Completing quests will level up your characters, enhancing their attributes and unlock. So dual layered board. Okay, nice. Focusing on that. King New. It's a nice looking player board too. It looks like you're gonna have a different, a big card here. Your character. Then we got stuff here, stuff here. Nice looking board. Skills. Ooh, Requiem introduces okay. a smart action management system to blend players' turns with zero downtime. Players will be able to all. Blend players' turns with zero downtime. So essentially, it's going to be like a big moving puzzle. Like you do this first, then I do that first, then I do this next. That's great. I I, I like that an awful lot. Great stuff to spotlight here. Alternate their moves with a continuous exchange of actions in frantic shared turns. Actions can be performed in different combinations, giving the chance for optimized turn planning. You will explore this dark world, finding mysterious events to solve. 
Oh, here Through it is. Through the Discovery books, you nice. will be presented with I'm choices. In. I'm in. I'm done. I'm in. Cool. I don't know what you're going to waste the next 2.30 on. I can't imagine it's all going to be great. Like, that is such a long time to spend. But I'm excited to see. So far, I think it's really well done. We didn't spend too long on the theme. We're showcasing a lot of the great components here. This looks good. I want to play this. Ooh, Event 27 could lead me to 1 or 14. That's what I want. Choose your own adventure style stuff. Fantastic. I'm in. I'm sold. This is the kind of game I love. I still wish I knew it was a solo game. You haven't slapped me in the face with that one to four players, but I'm assuming it probably is. Can lead to new quests for Even the Even if party. it's two-handed. Nice. Very nice. This is indeed the Forsaken Church of which the poor man spoke. Brother, is that you? No, do not. Okay, so I feel like we've gone to the point where we're so deep in the theme, it feels like it's theme, but this is actually gameplay. I imagine they're they're actually playing out what would happen on a specific card, which I actually kind of really dig. Not fear, Ludwig sent us here. Convincing companions to follow you will be crucial to the oh, success cool. of your quest. I want the wiener dog. Okay. But beware, it is a hostile world. Yep. Work together to defeat the most dangerous of enemies, making combos between equipment and attacks. Be wary as they will fight back, also using their peculiar skills. Defeating them will allow you to progress in the story of the game. Their peculiar skills makes me feel even more like a puzzle. You gotta figure out how you're gonna defeat each enemy. I like it. I'm in. Still got a minute 30 going strong. And to collect incredible treasures. The heroes will be called upon to Lots face the key characters in- That was a nice shot there. It wasn't slapping me in the face with the minis, but just like, hey, there's going to be tons of minis. Now, uh, I wonder what size these are. Just out of curiosity. I'm sure they'll tell us. Heroes will be called upon to face the key characters in Requiem's story. You will come across bosses with their own artificial intelligence, with ever-changing behaviors that will put your skills mm. to the test. Each boss has its own unique way to win the fight by conquering achievements. During the fight, they will gain new skills and become stronger. Ooh. Cool system. Set in 1500s Germany, Requiem's storyline will take... Campaign. Okay, this is how we pivot. I was wondering how we were going to fill in this time, and I feel like we're filling it in well. I want to know if there's a campaign. You through an exciting campaign with multiple endings. Nice. Choose your own path. Undertaker. Before your time runs out, and Ooh. prepare yourself. I hope it's Ministry of Darkness, Undertaker. ...to face the final, inevitable enemy, death. Come in. Will you be able to confront death itself? I'm in, and I'm in a bad damn mood, and I thought I was not going to like this, and I did, so that makes me feel good. Or will she be the one to write your requiem? Now, I'm also very curious to see if Italy's going to do it big like France does. Probably not, because Italy sucks compared to France. France is way better than you, Italy. I think we all know that. I don't know why I'm talking trash to Italy or bumping up France that much. What I mean by that is, typically, France supports their local designers really, really, really well. Better than any other part of the world, uh, at least on Kickstarter that I've seen. So, I'm curious to see, when we get to those collaborator numbers, how much Italy is coming in strong here. If I can't, if I can't, why, why is this, is this just literally? Better zoom in on this for the, um. Why? Is it, are you going to reveal something then? Don't tell me you're going to reveal something at the end. So we could have cut out 20 seconds very easily. Normally I say that and like, yeah, that was okay. Weird. Whatever. All right. So it's already funded. It's happening. Cool. Ludus Magnus Studios. Indie hobby board game company. We publish board games, card games, and miniatures games. LMS has reputations for its successful funded Kickstarter projects. Novus, Adis. Yeah, they got Black Rose Wars. That's a big one. That's like a top 100, I think. Cool. We got one collaborator in here. So we should have uh, better customer service than if you had zero, I suppose. Well, let's check. Make sure these things are out. Runar. I'm going to guess this one's not out. That's just 
pretty typical for big mini games company the chinese year it's boring and no timeline we should receive this game des 2023 and no new timeline in the project too much project sorry i'm tired of excuses can you please update us about the miniature changes i.e the bear hind's leg a few of us are starting to feel overlooked regarding our request for updates on some of these details that you mentioned you'd be looking at correcting are they corrected or question mark hello could we get an update Ooh, let's play the bad customer service game this is my favorite one let me know in the comments below how many days do you think that they have completely neglected their audience? And here's the thing. This is their most recent project. Oh, it's just, yeah, they have this now, and then this is their most recent project, which I'm assuming is not out. So completely ignoring these people is bad customer service. And once again, I look back at that collaborator and said, oh, there's one collaborator here. So there's essentially two people doing customer service on stuff. Now, granted, these past projects might have more. Uh, with some updates, be too much to ask. I back... Oh, so what's the guess? What's the guess? I'm going to guess 26 days. 26 days. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Let's see. Uh, very... Yeah, great video. Agreed. I backed momentarily wreck when I got their attention. Hate to do that. Hate mo even more radio silence. No, that's what you have to do, Greg. Greg's a super backer. He gets it. You need to drag stuff into their yard. Grab the flaming bag of poop bring it to their new project and say hey hey remember remember i know you got these new shiny customers you're trying to get but you still have to help us out jerks his words not mine i'm putting words in your mouth craig sorry i backed a lot of projects and i still don't understand why 95 percent of companies promise unrealistic delivery dates it'd be so easy to put it a year further and look like a pro delivering even sooner than promised yeah i know a couple companies that do that and they swear by it because the bottom line is as long as it's not that far off people are like you could just be like oh this is we expect it to be out this month, but we wanted to give ourselves some padding time. So that way in the back end, people aren't upset. Uh, it'd be easy to put a year further and look like a pro. Uh, but no, the most of them don't learn. No COVID excuses anymore. Anyway, I guess we'll get this one before the end of the year. Maybe. I don't disagree with you at all, Greg. However, I think the answer to your question is that many would balk at the idea of waiting that extra year, even if it more accurately, accurately reflects reality. And the companies could see decreased revenues, at least in the short term. In the long run, it may have the opposite effect. Uh, I know you're running a new campaign. It'd be great to have some news here. Plus one is a mythic victim. <laughs> I like that word. A mythic victim. He's talking about mythic games. A victim. I guess hey, kind of, they stole money from you. Uh, too much delays and few updates. Let's, uh, oh, so we're just going to skip. Obviously, these are all going to be negative because they're piss poor customer service. But are we going to get to 26 days? Wow, we're already to 23. Two months ago, Jiminy Christmas. Two months ago? Ja oh, three months. Thanks, Luca. So glad you could be, you could give us our presence. Super hyped and good update. Nice. So the only thing wow hold on to beer number 42 whoa so this is some terrible customer service all right let's make sure see if the updates maybe the updates are the saving grace march 27th february 9th so it looks like they pretty much just abandoned the comment section for the updates Ugh. uh welcome to the and that's and here's the thing if this is three projects ago or four projects ago it's different than if it's the last project and it's not out yet Thanks for sharing the rulebook. Unfortunately, I don't have time to read it carefully and provide you with more in-depth feedback. However, just browsing, and I stumbled upon this sentence. Uh, cool. Page 29. If you don't get any comments or notes in your PDFs, please, please, please take those with a big, heavy grain of salt. I mean, I guess and really hope you gave the translation job to some more than competent people who read the rules, understand them, maybe even play the game themselves, and then train. They did not. Um, I'm glad to agree with the men of this. Uh, okay. Cool. So, oof. This is some stuff here. This is some stuff that concerns me. Let's make sure the breach went better, because that one comments i assume the pledge manager is closed pledge manager still uh, doesn't look like i can open my pledge so this one is not out the way lms runs communication made it clear this is my first and last campaign with them too many in progress at once issues carrying across projects ignoring backer comments and not posting materials as they committed he can volunteer we can volunteer editing but they can't be bothered to revise share or otherwise indicate anything really happened Woo! here you go ludus magnus studios why don't you why don't you step up your game a little bit here this looks like some really terrible customer service so once again let's do the terrible customer service games spoilers we're already at 26 days i'm gonna go with two months two months oh nope it was only one month hi guys the next update will release next week just to get some more information about the production of the factory of the pause for the chinese new year cool beans uh yeah so they're just trying to poke people with sticks just leave us alone leave us alone we might get your stuff out Look at our track record, please. Um, 
Yikes. Okay. Black Rose Wars. Hopefully this one's on at least. 40,000 comments. My baby the Cthulhu figure had both its wings broken off during transit, and one was in the baggie it came in. I can only imagine how much it was tossed around since it was put in the baggie. Is there any way to get a replacement? So much for the guarantee of shipping out by Friday. Here in North America, it's not a damn thing. I know my pledge is more complex with all in than add the Phoenix to stuff. Anyone know how the stretch goal items come? I think I got everything but the stretch goals. I want to say the Secret of the Lodge is a good read. Got my box today. So these ones are starting to ship out. Cool. <laughs> okay. Yikes. Comments. I think I'm going to skip Requiem. It looks good, but considering the whole of this campaign, I can't buy in. I like the minis, but since they're going to crank up prices, which are already too high in the pledge manager, it's going to be a no. I have no change by shipping editors. How do I do it? So this one out. This is what I want to know. Mark shipping update. Important update for the backers. As informed you in the last update, the production of Wave 1 in all three languages has been completed since the end of January, so this one is out. Cool. Buy our new stuff. No thanks. And then DEI, pretty sure this one is out. Let's make sure. Not a great, not a great first impression. It's planned to make an update of factions for the unbalanced, especially Ravagers. Uh, cool. So, can you do it? Uh, I don't feel comfortable there. Like, and here's what I would say to myself. If I came to you and said, yeah, there was one minor thing that ended up happening that completely screwed them up, and then, like, dominoes fell the wrong way, and so... You're not getting your game. Would you be that surprised? I mean, I think you will still get your game. I don't want to imply that I don't think you will, but it's not a great track record. It's not a great track record there that, that's shining through. Uh, and they're just adding another hundred, multiple hundred thousand dollar project on top of it. Exploring a rich universe while a mysterious story evolves is exactly what I want. Okay, your choices really do matter. A fully cooperative epic adventure. I'm here for all of it. Okay, so these quotes are... At least they're, they're, they're pointing a, a light on a couple things. Mysterious story evolves around. I kind of I kind of want to play that. Fully cooperative. Uh, your choices really do matter. That's a good one as well. We've all played those games where it's like, did, did my choices really matter that much? Both in video games and especially in board games. So I like that. The action feels streamlined, which is refreshing. Alternate in the campaign adventure genre. Okay. Streamlined. Neat. And that was one thing you kind of pounded your chest about in the video. You're like, hey, it's, uh, it's, everybody's working together. They have so much in the pipeline, bad optics agreed. They also have a DEI, DEI campaign on GameFound that has not shipped yet. Oh, thank you, Ricardo. So, yeah, even more. Yeah, can you do it? I'm going to go with a check minus on this one. I just, like, really? I know the video looks good, but, I mean, there's, there's probably, like, 20 other big minis games out there you could throw your cash at. Uh, but this one does have a good track record. Hopefully they spotlight that. Game key elements, asymmetric characters. Wow, all four, immersive story, zero downtime, epic encounters, easy to learn, hard to master, high replayability, art division. Um, okay, <laughs> we have nice art. That's what I'm saying. We have nice art. Uh, the heroes, stuff, things. So now you're showcasing the components. Cool. Neato, Speedo, I'd love to see a price. Once again, I know I can go over here, but if you're on iOS or mobile, it's an extra click. You don't want to have to make. Now we're getting into minis porn. Got it. Lots of minis. 32 tiles man i really wish you would have just slapped me in the face with a price before we get into this this is this is oh wow look at all these cards how many cards you're not just gonna tell me so what do we got 150 180 200 500 509 five over 550 cards i would put that there somewhere over 550 cards and then this is the uh, expansion because you can't just make one box of course <laughs> who just makes one box so what's in this why do i need it are these new characters because that's exciting oh that is exciting okay cool now i'm more excited about the asymmetric because there's eight characters instead of four cool stuff things just hit me the price already and this is another box jesus christ so cart in front of the horse Ugh. all right so that check minus is going to a check minus minus the more boxes you put plan on putting out for your game the more scared i get because this is just more mistakes and more screw-ups that can happen. And I already don't feel comfortable with you. I already know that if I have customer service issues, it's going to be an unpleasant experience based on the track record. Character level cards, stuff, things. I just want a price. Playthrough. Cool. Thanks for making this clickable. So just embedding it on the thing. Hour 44 minutes. Oh, that's great. 
It's good stuff. Like, that legit is a great video. I don't know why they're making it clickable, taking you away from it, especially considering it wouldn't even take that much extra size. That is such an odd choice. I would love to ask them, like, what was the line of thinking there? Maybe they thought the thumbnail for this sucked. Maybe, like, man, for your thumbnail dog. sucks or something. I don't know. For combat dog. I don't know. It's just weird. It's, typically, it's on the page. Whatever. Why pledge now? The more you are, the more you get. Huh? Who I participating to the Requid campaign now? Why participate to the Requid campaign now? I'm not good at English. It's my first and only language. Actually, I know a smidge bit of German, but I flunked out because it was in first period. I was always way too high in high school. But, guten, guten, uh, guten Tag, by the way. Um, is that proper English? Why participate to the Requid campaign now? I don't know. And they're, and they're like, ah, who cares? English isn't their first language. Yeah, but they're writing a rule booklet. So you don't want to see stuff like that. It's like minor things. Minor things. It's not a big deal, but it's like, eh. Uh, because you will help unlock new stretch goals, making each pledge richer and more affordable. You also have the opportunity to actively participate with the comments to help us improve the project. Just give me a price. What entails choosing a pledge now? Choose a pledge now doesn't mean anything. Just an indication of your preference. <laughs> Since the final payment won't be made until the end of the campaign. Who are you talking to? You think you got a lot of new backers here? Because I doubt you do. 49. Yeah, most people here. Oh, Italy showing up big in second. Good for them. France. Yeah, look at you. You sly dog. Uh, so, yeah, doing it big in Italy. Good for them, too. Get the unlock stretch goals for free. We'll be added stuff. Get twice as much for the same money. I just want the price. I twice as much for the same money. Are these the same size boxes? Because they don't look like it. So when you say twice as much for the same money, it, it makes me imply that that box is the same size as that box. And it's just... It's weird. God, I hate the organization of the story. How the campaign works. I can't even complain because I could just click here if I really wanted to, but it's not a fun... You could make it fun, and it's not. How this campaign works. Stretch goals. Two different types of stretch goals will be unlocked during this campaign. I'd love to see them higher once again because, as I always say, when you launch Kickstarter, your goal is to get funded. Once you're funded, what's your goal? Stretch goals. So I, I'm a firm believer stretch goals should go higher. Not to mention they make your value seem a lot more. Right now, it just seems like you're going to have a really bad price. That you're just dragging out. Whoa! Holy guacamole! A new character? That's huge! Yeah, put that up higher. Three new equipment cards. Uh, discovery book. What's this? Looks like it's clickable, but it's not. It's a discovery book. What's that mean? I don't know. Neat. Don't care. But I'm excited. It's a book. Knock trap. Uh, different miniatures. So it'll look cool. Discovery cards. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. Why is there a YouTube? Oh, because this was a social goal, I'm guessing, and it had to do something with YouTube. So is all this stuff just put in that secondary box? Is that what it is? I think that's what they're trying to tell us here. I don't know. Yeah, so it's good to know, but reading their last update, everything is ready to start shipping to hugs, hubs. That's good to know. I still, I'm check minus. Maybe check minus minus. I don't feel comfortable. But they do have a gameplay video, and then we have uh, different stretch goals. We get more cards. Cool. Social stretch goals. Normally, I like to do these. I don't like the cut of their jib, so I'm not. 149. That doesn't seem terrible. Oh, because we got to convert it. Because they would not. Why would, why would they possibly do that? Not like they know that. This is their first Kickstarter project. Oh, wait. No, it's not. It's like their 12th. Ha, ha, ha. Just laziness. 160. Okay. Doesn't seem like a great price. Doesn't seem like a terrible price. It seems like a Kickstarter reasonable price. Because I imagine, like this, 120 bucks. I wouldn't bat an eye. 100 bucks. However many minis you got. It's 550 cards. See, and this is why I feel like it's so much better to put the price with the components. Tell me there's 64 minis, 550 cards, 600 tokens, or whatever. Like, you, by spreading them out, it just feels like you're hiding your price. And I don't feel like your price is terrible it's not good now what's this black rose war uh so it's, 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 it's uh, what's it what is it uh it's, it's like a spin-off box what is it i don't know i don't care whatever black so it's an add-on adventurer Ugh. Ugh. This just reeks of, we didn't feel comfortable enough to launch all this, so we had to shoehorn in a bunch of expansions to make them playable together, which, don't get me wrong, that actually excites me as a consumer, but it also, it like, it's just more boxes. And I, and I, like I said, the more boxes you're making out and the worse your customer service looks, the more concerned I am. 
and my concern is rising ever so steadily like this campaign has so many red flags like the tiny ones where you're like if we come back here two years from now i'd be like oh hmm yeah okay now we're talking 8.7 8.5 so you're spotlighting the rating on those cool we have the pledge with the add-ons what is this what, what am i looking at i'm interested in requiem i'm interested in requiem plus the gnar crossover oh this is nice this is a nice little thing breaking down the prices for you that's cool uh where's the shipping oh now you're gonna sell me this <laughs> Like, you're like, hey, buy it. And then you're like, oh, by the way, you want to know about it? Sure. Got minis. Uh, it contains eight miniatures, but we'll get you more if we hit stretch goals. Ugh. Uh, Metro Piero Shop. I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, it works for everything? Cool. It's a character that's going to work at everything. Ooh, that looks... So oh, that's a shop? Oh, cool. Is that like a, a roving tradesperson? Man, that's actually pretty neat. Once again... How many boxes are we actually making here? Let's do a count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh, this is scary. <laughs> oh, hey, the rule booklet. Like, you want that thing. No, thanks. I don't want to help you. I'm in a bad mood, Google. Not right now. Languages. Hey, will you convert stuff for me? Please, will you do it for us? And then we'll just ignore you in the comments section. A choose your own adventure where your choices really do matter. A fully cooperative epic adventure. A game designed with all the things I love about gaming. I'm here for all of it. Requiem offers a broad sense of it. I just want the shipping. I'm over it. I'm over this project. Cool. Man, video dump. Video dump. Video dump. Nice. So they got tons of videos. I'm sure whatever video you want is probably there. It'd be nice if you identified what this video was before I clicked on it. Is this a preview? I'm a, well, this one's not fair because it's solo. But what's this one? Is it Dark Stones? What is I don't even know. This is so confusing. This feels like a convoluted mess. Here, see him painted? I'd just rather see the shipping. Uh, planning table. Okay. Got it. Got it. Why do these look... These look weird. Like, there's a filter on these that just is an odd filter. Right? Like, it's not just me. Those are totally not real pictures of the people. Like, it's the real pictures, but they're, they're filtered. Whatever. Just hit me with the shipping. Which you look like you're hiding. Approximate two months after the fundraising campaign and your shipping costs will be calculated to the pledge manager. So, uh, once again, you didn't convert it, I don't assume. United States of America, the magic adventurer or the order. What's the, what, what, what's the adventurer? This reward is for old... Oh, so, okay. I'm actually kind of excited if they broke this down to all being different. Man, I hate this campaign page. I can't tell if it's because I'm in a bad mood or just that this is organized. It looks like they just threw up everything they had to say and then were just like stepped on it and smushed it all around. It was like, here you go. Here's the order. So this is 93 people who want this. And this is 312 people who want that expansion, which is a crossover to the other thing. So these are mostly people who are like, I don't want your new game. Probably because you're piss poor customer service. I just want the expansion to my old game. And then we have the order, 1300 That, I mean, it's, it's a fine number. It's fine. I got to imagine that's pretty low for them, though. I actually kind of want to go check. Yeah, like that, that feels low to me. Like, for most people, that's great. Like, 1300 fantastic. But I'm just going to... I'm just going to... Let's see how many of these base copies they caught. Because this looks like maybe people getting sick and tired of the crap. That one's canceled. Yeah. Just, I'm just curious. I just want to do a quick test. Deluxe Pledge. 252, 275. Those are... Oh, 925? Oh, no. No, it's not. It's actually higher. Okay, good for them. 527, 842, 1258. Okay, never mind. Take backsies. Good for them. They got more. I don't get it. I don't need to get it. Cool. God, this campaign page sucks. Though. I hate it. I hate everything about it. Uh, so, final price is... What is it? What was that? 160 I want your game. And now we're up to... One... 200 bucks. I'm out. I'm out. No. I'm out. It just doesn't feel like a good price. And the customer service with the check minus minus... 
So check minus minus on price. Like I don't even like it's the tail end of Kickstarter reasonable, I guess, depending on how big this box is. But uh, ugh. oh man, check out the FAQ updates. Comments give us one a grade. Oh, ooh, they organize it like Reload from Colossal Games. Do love that. Istvan uh, components. Is the box ready to stock all the sleeve cards? Yes. Will record be available in Polish? Cool. Updates. Art attack. Let's see what the most engaging one is. 35 comments. All right, let's see what they did here that was most engaging. 35. Painted mini. Focusing on something in the game. Cool. The Nemesis card. Talking about a stretch goal. Talking about the social goals. Cool. Thank you for feedback, guys. Don't worry. We're still working on it. I'm here with the suggestions. We'll create a super monster. I mean, LMS is known for their amazing sculpts. Maybe having someone design the abomination with the things we voted for and have them design their own abomination to fit the theme of the game and then have us vote for our cobbled together one of the original artist version. This very well may be, may be a too many cooks, too many cooks problem. Either way, the voting has been fun and education for all involved. So they got, so that's it. Uh, they, they asked people to respond and vote and people responded in votes. I know it's a very difficult concept for a lot of companies, but if you want people to get engaged, ask them questions. Mind blowing stuff. Uh, the last stretch goal unlock the captain is a nemesis shouldn't be labeled as that. Seems like we're in the minority here, as a husband and I really like Requiem. Played our all-in copy of BRO once, not our thing. Still haven't managed to play a correct round of Dungeonology and gave up on Ludus Magnus then. Yikes. But Requiem looks really good and interesting for some part exactly because there is an endless fighting. And to be honest, we just grabbed one of the last Nova Atis boxes in their store. Uh, cool. All right, final grade for this one. And I'm just going to go with a, a third of a point grade bump up because I'm in a very bad mood. I feel like I, I, I am I going to go into it much? I feel screwed over right now, which uh, I don't take very well. So you might see, oh, you might see a juicy tell-all video in the near future. A behind the corner where I go freaking napalm on someone. Because if you screw me over, I don't mind busting out the receipts. And I hope someone does that to me one day. Busting out those receipts. If you got them. Hopefully nobody has them. But... <laughs> Yeah, so final grade, uh, I'm going to go with a third of a point grade bump up because I imagine my biases are kicking in right now. Oh, God! In fact, your rule book looks like hot trash. Why? Why? Why would you choose artwork? You could put so much useful information here, like how to play your game, symbology. Okay, kind of want to take away that third of a grade, point grade bump up I gave you. All right, final grade. Do I want it? Um, yeah, I do. The video is really well made. The video honestly was the best part of this, in my personal opinion. And I'm sure there's a fantastic story here. I really do. Everything you need for a fantastic story is in their story. It's just the organization feels absolutely atrocious and not fun to navigate through and confusing and pricey and lazy. You know, lazy, like not converting currencies when you know, you know, because this is your 13th project, that the majority of people who are going to back you are from the United States of America, and yet you still just choose not to do it. I don't understand it. People are like, eh, would you convert currencies? We're going to fluctuate. Then you put the little symbol there, which someone just told me what it is. Yeah. You know, you know where the majority of people are coming from. Give us dollars. Give us inches. Minor thing. So do I want it? Yes, though. I feel like the video was really well done. Can you do it? Um, check minus minus. Go check out their, their comment sections of the previous things. I don't feel comfortable with it. Those look like the comment sections of a company who's one or two missteps away from Mythic Gamings, from Monolithing, from from, from Fit Street Gaming, from, from all these other companies who just had all these numerous projects that were not out yet, and they just keep pushing forward and pushing forward and pushing forward, and not just pushing forward, but with box after box after box after box after box. There's like eight boxes here, right? Am I, if, am I counting correctly? There's a lot, because there's not just the boxes, but there's like mini boxes, and they're like, we're going to make even more boxes, because this box will just have a mini and some crap and cards, and it's just... Eeeh. Eeeh. And then how much is it? Doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel good at all. Feels bad. Like, it is... Uh, this is the very tail end of Kickstarter Reasonable. $200. And I didn't, and maybe, maybe if I go back to that sp spot, the huge, massive spot where you kind of showcased all your components, but look how long this is. This is where I'm supposed to get a good idea if the value of your game is good, and it's just, it goes on forever and ever and ever, and I don't even know the price. It, like, look, it just keeps going and going and going and 
going and going and going and going. Like, ugh. Um, my 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 knee jerk reaction is a D. I'm in a bad mood, so I'll go D plus. Maybe C. No, I'm gonna go D plus. Yeah, D plus. When I have to play the bad customer service game on you twice in one episode, you're in the D range. I'm gonna go with a D plus. I can't give you a C minus. Requiem Downfall of Magic D plus. I personally, I go give my money to some other minis game, just because this one, it, it's got some red flags, minor ones that scare me. Uh, and, and if you look into the comments section even more, the letter in the comments below. I feel the same way. These guys are close to being the next Mythic. I hope not, because <laughs> it looks like they got good games too. Like that's the other thing. Uh, I uh, putting your number, your board game geek number. I don't think it, uh, like when you put eight point five, eight point seven. Like it's just I don't know. All right. Like what it doesn't. I don't think it means as much to people. Where whereas when you put the rating, like you're like, oh, this is the the X best game of all time. I feel. Uh, oh god, can I just find your stupid game? Now total magic. 2024? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so they did Haunted... Ooh, that is... Oh, good golly! That's not good. Oh, because this one's probably not out yet. Those are very low numbers. If you're not familiar with Board Game Geek, being rated as 15,000, 16,000, anything past 10,000, I probably am not recommending you spend $200 on the game. But, once again, th their track record with stuff is solid black rose war 509 once again you tell me it's a eight, rated an eight on board game geek i said that's cool but when you tell me it's the 509th best game of all time i think it tells more yeah yeah and i look at these i'm just like eh. black rose wars is lifting a lot of weight right here uh final grade yeah d plus i think that's fair let me know in the comments below. It's your final grade for Requiem Downfall of Magic. If you're enjoying the content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And once again, I do apologize for coming into this. If I seem like I'm a little more negative today, I do apologize. I typically try and come into these as a blank slate, but I literally just got some news that really take me off like three to five minutes before we get on this. And, and my potato's cold now. But as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye.